I don't know about this wolf collection, Sassy. Seems like something a doctor would wear. Got something different? Maybe a nice hat? You're kidding, right? It was a Sunday afternoon when I finally managed to watch Rarity Investigates. I was quite surprised to see that it wasn't just a second Rarity episode in a row, but that it felt like a natural continuation of Cantaloupe Boutique. Especially the fact that Sassy Saddles was featured again baffled me like a dancing herd of buffaloes. Okay, cat's a private eye monologue, it just doesn't work for me. This episode, however, does. It was a great homage to the classic film noir genre, a genre that only lives on through homages and parodies like this. And while I never get tired of it, I cannot really say it's creative. It's one of these stock episodes every show seems to get sooner or later, like the superhero or time travel episode. However, this does not mean that it is bad. It is handled really well. The monochrome colors and the just like soundtrack. I'm also a huge fan of Rarity's new collection. They all go well together. However, I already see people upset, crying that Rarity never seemed to be interested in crime fiction before. But that's the point. Rarity makes a living from inspirations. I think it was similar to Rainbow Dash and Daring Do. Once she tried it, she loved it. However, I never would have guessed that Rarity would make such a good investigator. But the way it was presented in this episode, it made perfect sense. As a fashionista, she pays much more attention to details than most ponies, and her flirt tactics to manipulate others aren't anything new. She actually behaved like usual, only with added monologues, and she did a fine job with those. They made me chuckle more than once. Rainbow Dash made a good impression as well. I was actually surprised to see that this is a Rainbow Dash Rarity episode. I think we never had one of those before, but I hope we get more. For they played each other off quite nicely. And I'm sure I was not the only one thinking OBJECTION when Rainbow Dash was accused of the crime. Still haven't finished Turnabout Storm. What? It's like 9 hours long. It was also nice to see Rainbow Dash in action as a Wonderboat Reserve. We see real progress in her character arc, and we acknowledge the events of Testing Testing 123. It's Wind Rider! I am pretty sure that she only knows who Wind Rider is because of said episode. Every time Rainbow Dash tells some Wonderbolt facts, remember, she only knows them because Twilight exploited a strange psychological condition. Her freakout in this episode was actually quite similar to the one she had in Testing Testing 123. Now that I think about it, freakouts are quite a staple in her character. But she had one for a good reason. After all, her Wonderbot career was at risk. It's basically confirmed that Rainbow Dash will become one. Sorin and Spitfire talk of it like it's only a matter of time. And most likely it is. The only reason Rainbow Dash isn't a full-fledged member yet is most likely some sort of formality. They cannot just say, you are a good flyer, here's your badge. No, you have to be a good flyer, join the academy, pass a written test and serve as a reserve for a certain amount of time. And since it would be anticlimactic to just make a one in a random episode, she most likely have to pass one final test in the future. The only thing that bugged me a little was the resolution. Windrunner's reason was a little bit too petty. I hoped for a better twist. And while Windrunner wasn't my first guess, it was obvious the moment Cinnamon Shy told Rarity about the scarf. It reminded me of a mystery I once solved. His last word was Rosebud? Rosebud? Rosebud is a gardener, you idiot! I cracked it easily. There's also the fact that Sauron believed the whole Rainbow did it story as soon as he heard it. But to be fair, she was the only suspect and let's take a look at his ultimatum. Well, I have to warn you, if you sent that letter, the bylaws are clear. I'd have no choice but to ban you from the Wonderbolts forever. Understand? I think he was quite reasonable. He never really said something like, you did it. He was unable to rule out the possibility, so he warned her what would happen if she is guilty. But something along the line of, Rainbow Dash, that's impossible, would have been better. I also want to add a few Afterfucks to Rarity's Boutique. I was really surprised to see the Cantaloupe Carousel and Sassy Saddles again so soon. I don't think that there's any other secondary character that made his second appearance right after the debut episode. Most characters can be happy if they get one appearance per season, or a second run at all. It also made me realize that the Boutique is a perfect excuse to set more episodes in Cantaloupe, as Rarity will go there on a regular basis, and I really hope that they will use it more in the future. They can also use it as an excuse to justify Rarity's absence. 
However, while it was nice that they set this episode in Canterlot, I think it would have worked better in Manhattan. Speaking of which, I need to get my train. If I'm not there by next week, I'll be in trouble. So, let's wrap things up. I really enjoyed this episode. Seeing Rarity as a Nord detective was a blast. Rainbow's performance wasn't bad either, especially that she basically played the straight mare to Rarity was quite hilarious if you think about it. Usually it's the other way around. However, while those two were good, I think the minor characters were a little bit lackluster in this episode. And why is it that we know more about Spitfire's family now than about Scooterloo's parents? Nothing against Stormy Flair. But the mother of Spitfire was the last pony I expected to see this episode. Well, what do you think of this episode? Any other genre that needs to get a pony makeover? Please share your thoughts in the comments with me. You can also check out my thoughts on Cantaloupe Boutique here. And this like button is looking at you, kid. This could also be the beginning of a beautiful subscription ship. You only need to click here. And you can also follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.